effects of the last one? You're disappointed with how they went? Yeah, I'll, look, I'll start off by um, thanking the Queensland Government uh, for hosting this. You know, it wasn't that long ago we were um, sitting in Perth, unsure where we were going to head and uh, and what was going to happen from there. So it's been fantastic uh, to play the next four rounds here and um, obviously 75% crowd tonight, but mostly, mostly full crowds and got around different parts of Queensland, so that's been really appreciated. Um, oh look, yeah, look, we're, we're happy to win. I think at 32-3, um, you know, it was a bit of frustration. We um, we wanted to put the foot on the throats and and uh, just lacked a little bit of accuracy and um, discipline and gave them some soft uh, position and territory and and then we just didn't defend uh, well from there either. So uh, I, I thought we our defence was excellent for the majority of the game, but. But disappointing in that last sta stage. So, you know, I, look, I mean, the positive thing is, you know, we're we're grumpy after wins, and uh, so you know, we've certainly raised the expectations, and and um, you know, we still we know got a lot more in us. You mentioned that sitting in Perth there. Since then, I guess, how would you describe the, the leaps or the gains you've made across the board in the last month? Yeah, look, I, I know the scores against the All Blacks, they're, they're clinical, they can hurt you. We, we, we played a lot of good footy against them, um, but but not for long enough. You know, if you, if you turn ball over against them, you get hurt. And and so, you know, I, I thought we made pretty good shifts in our game over the last month. Uh, we've kicked a bit more, and uh, yeah, just, just because what we don't want is teams kicking us the ball and knowing they can have 14 in the front line and we're not going to kick back. So uh, I, I thought there was some real smart kicking tonight and, and you know, we turned that sort of territory and uh, pressure into points to, to jump out to 32-3. So I, I think at that stage we, we played the game pretty well. Dave, can you uh, give us a little bit of um, an appreciation of how much... Um Kellaway's improved and Len Ikatau, two of your key guys, and I guess Darcy Swain as well is a monster season in the fall. Yeah, look, um, you know, Kel's, he's got a nose for the line, hasn't he? Um, yeah, he? Look, he's been excellent, and you know, to be honest, he wasn't in our plans about a month before we named the, the squad, but he came back to the Rebels and played really well, and, and you know, we didn't have uh, an option. He could sort of be a 15, 14, 13. Um, you know, once he's got his opportunity, he's he's impressed, and um, you know he's a he's a consistent part of a starting lineup now. So, real real, real uh, credit to Cows. He's he's been really impressive, and and uh, keeps getting better. I, I think Lenny cattell has been fantastic. He's he's a young man who a, a year ago was was miles away from where he is now. So uh, he, he's worked really hard. He's um, He's got a really good skill set, you know, very good distributor, he's got a good kicking game, he hits hard, carries hard. Uh, you know, he's been he's pretty quiet naturally, but his um, his voice has in, increased dramatically over the last couple of months and uh, as is his confidence. So yeah, really pleasing for those guys. And yeah, and, and nice to see Darcy out there again starting, you know, we, we think he's got a big future and and um, you know, he put in a pretty solid performance again tonight. Dave, is the, um, was the Samu injury, was it his ankle or, yeah, how bad was it? Ah, uh, no, we're not sure. They, um, used to be called sprained ankle in my day. It's now called syndesmosis, which is much worse, <laughs> evidently. Um, yeah, we're hoping, we're hoping that it's, it's not too long and, um, so yeah, yeah we'll, we'll assess that as we go. Uh, Sorry, uh, Hoops, do you um, are you thinking of a full time move to the backs now? You've had a little taste there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> oh, it's a, um, yeah, I was pretty out of my comfort zone there. Look, it's a good, good um, challenge for us. Um, you know, the bench had a couple shifts there. We had to come on and try and work some stuff out on the run. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't great at that, so I think. Um, we could probably improve, but uh, yeah, I mean, if Dave wants to put me out there a bit more. I mean, uh, I'll go out there. Were you, um, were you, were you waiting for that kick from Quaid? So 
Yeah. Oh, God, that'd be a dream come true, wouldn't it? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, no. Um, no, look, I... It was a good game. We created a lot of opportunity. It was just sloppy at the end. It was sloppy with our discipline, um, something we wanted to be good at tonight. So I think for parts, um, we were really, really good and, um, you know, hurt hurt them quite easily at times and then, you know, built some good pressure. But, um, yeah, we uh, we just kept getting, letting them in the game, kicks to corner, um, you know, silly discipline. Having said that, you're winning, still winning comfortably. Like, can, you, can you describe what it's been like Oh, absolutely. We've been so well supported, like Dave alluded to right at the start, so well supported here in Queensland. Um, I mean, it's no secret that we love coming up and playing, usually at Suncor, but down here has been great. Um, you know, around the grounds when we've been out and about before we are put into the bubble earlier in the week, um, you know, it's, uh, it's been really well supported. So I think in terms of us, um, what's been pleasing is we're gaining momentum and creating a bit of Wallaby rugby and, and how we want to play on the field. So, you know, at times we're really dangerous and clinical, um, physical, you know, stuff that we want to be known for when the guys, um, guys and girls watch us in the stands. So, you know, we've got to keep growing that. We're not where we want to be. Um, but, uh, you know, pleasing to be gaining a lot of momentum and, and singing the song of the change room. What about the mood? among the players in the dressing room. I mean, after the, the matches against the All Blacks, I imagine the mood would have been pretty low. Um, now, after four straight wins, I imagine you'd be looking forward to the next trip to Europe. Oh, I mean, great opportunity for us. We're... Uh... Um, a lot of our guys haven't been up north. We've got a World Cup there in two years. So, you know, if we have the opportunity to go up there and play in front of full stadiums, it's going to be great for our growth, great for, you know, playing a couple of different teams and European teams at that. So, you know, I, I, Dave, I think we're pretty keen to get up there. And, you know, we've got Japan in there who play a different style of rugby. Again, very dangerous in, in what they can do on the park. They, um, you know, really move the ball well. So, you know, playing some different teams and that's going to pose some different problems. And, um, you know, that's a good challenge for us to look at Callaway at fullback at least with Kirby off. Dave, is that a bit added bonus tonight, just to see that he's so comfortable back there? Yeah, yeah, and, um, you know, like I guess, you know, we made a decision to empty the bench early, um, and then we lost Geordie with 15 to go, so that, that shuffled things. It was a bit disappointing because it meant that, um, um, you know, uh, Lonas didn't get a chance to come on a hooker, but... Uh, that, that sort of thing's going to happen, you know, and we've got to adjust and, and work things out on the run. So, um, yeah, look, we, we certainly wanted to give, at 32-3, we wanted to give the guys on the bench uh, a decent crack and give them a chance to make a bit of a statement, so. Was that crap for uh, Geordie or something? Yeah, it's just crap, yeah. We, anything online, guys? Yes, uh, Dave. Uh, Regarding uh, Jordi Pataya, is there an issue with his physique? Uh, it seems that he's very uh, prone to injuries or he's not able to to last 80 minutes. Uh, we haven't played a lot of footy lately. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, I look, um, he's an incredible athlete. Uh, he's worked really hard on his conditioning and he's in good shape. Um, now, we'll look at as to why he cramped with 15 to go. Um, because a few of those guys, like, he would have been on the table at half time, would have given him a bit of a flush. He would have, you know, thrown a little bit of pickle juice in, and, and um, so, so yeah, we'll have a look at that. It's, it is very warm playing here in, um, in Queensland, and, and so um, but we'll, we'll get a plan around that. But um, it's not an injury; it's just cramp. Um, Dave, what, what kind of things do you have to map out now in the next few days before you pick your tour um, touring party to go away? And how many um, European-based players do you think you could possibly have? And will you call upon some of them? Yeah, I'm probably not going to talk about um, the squad or who at the moment. Uh, we'll, we'll do that when we announce it. Um, it it'll be later this week. Uh, we'll, we'll see how we come through today. Um, but obviously, question marks around Samu. There'll be a few bumps and bruises that present themselves tomorrow morning. So, so uh, you know, we'll have a look at that and then um, we'll, we'll get confirmation around what their squad looks like. 
Dave is pretty dominant showing from the scrum, especially in that first half, getting a couple of key penalties. Uh, can you just talk about the progression that's made under not only Dan, but having Petrus in the, in the squad essentially full-time now? Yeah, oh, look, I've, I've worked a long time with Petrus, so um, it's massive detail around our scrum, and um, yeah, he's cre created a culture around it. So um, yeah, it was a big weapon for us tonight. And, you know, again, um, you know, we've got some good young men coming through and, uh, and an old fellow who came off the bench tonight. So, um, yeah, I look up, yeah, that was, a, it was a, certainly a, a positive part of our game tonight. Anything else, guys? Thanks, Thanks for us to ask um, about uh, is it, you have, what, 10 days off now, maybe? Or how, how are you going to enjoy that? Uh, I'll go back home and then sit in home for 10 days. <laughs> I think that's a lockdown, isn't it? Um, I can't wait. Um, you know, the, the staff have been great in organising a, a way for us all to get home to our bases and um, stuff like that. So, And that's been a hell of a lot of hard work from them. So um, we've been uh, 109 days away um, in this block and, you know, everyone's deserved a little bit of a rest, but we'll stay fit and uh, get up north. I think it's important to sort of nail that, though, to, to make sure you make the most of that little break because it's not just that block it's been almost two years of bubbles and things isn't it yeah no no absolutely thanks guys cool thank, thank you, you. Well done.